Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Sex Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a video clip filter to Share Factory on your PlayStation 5. So this is the video editor. And adding a uh, filter will allow you to uh, change the color or the appearance of the video clip. Or you can add uh, more saturation to it, which is kind of nice. So uh, we just have to pick a clip under here so we can add it in. So let's pick this one where I'm shooting this helicopter and press X on it. Then we can go to where it says add filter. And here's all the different filters we have black and white, saturation, color rise, halftone. So most of the time, I just go to maybe like the saturation one or the clarity one. And this is going to make it a little bit more clear, it might add some more cl color to it. So we can go to add filter, let's go to saturation. So it's just a little bit more apparent than just the normal one. So let's do this one since there's a car in front of me. And you can see how much saturation adds. So just a little bit. It's not super apparent. So here's the car in a non-filter. And here's the car in a filter. <laughs> so it looks like the sun is just shining a little brighter. So it's not too apparent. But we got tons of different filters on here. Sometimes I'll use this one for like uh, montages or something in Rocket League. I like it with the dubstep uh, kind of music. So let's go down to another one. Here's black light. Uh, then we got uh, emboss. Uh, that's like chromatic. It kind of looks like uh, what is this spectrum? So I don't know. We got a bunch of different filters to kind of play around with. Most of these I just completely ignore. This one is washed out colors. And uh, here's sketch. That one okay. Yeah, it goes along with the comic book, book transitions, posterize. So yeah, most of these I I just don't even use because I just like the saturate. Otherwise, this red one can kind of be cool, too, if you're making a montage for, like, um, Call of Duty or something, sniping. So just add the filter onto it, and then maybe do something with transitions or something else. But hopefully this video did indeed help you out. did leave it a big thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel down below for more tech videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.